Good morning, friends. Joining me out here in the garage this morning, and I am doing a video on trash to useful, turning trash into useful items for the garden. So, found one of these storage totes. A lot of us use it to plant in, plant our trees in, but it's tore up. It's broken. So, my aunt was going to throw it out. I said, no, I can use that for something. So what I'm going to do, I got some deboning scissors. I'm going to go ahead, extra grilling shears, but they were like a dollar at Walmart. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this plastic and make a straight across, make a um, straighter item to plant in. So, I'll bring you back when I finish the cutting. Okay, fam, I know you didn't want to watch me cutting, but we have this and the, the uh, oops, stop the camera. <laughs> but this came off, and now we have this, which is a decent size planter. And all I have to do is drill my holes in the bottom and since this is um has the raised holes i'm going to put one hole in the top upper and probably one hole in the middle so and kind of give it good drainage because i'm going to use this for bunching onions i'm going to throw a couple of garlic bulbs in it just to see because i already know they're way out of season but i'm gonna throw them in there anyway and um shallots i got some shallot seeds bunching onion seeds nihao onion seeds which is another kind of green onions nishi cow or something like that and uh celery i'm gonna put a couple of celery seeds in here so i'll have my little aromatic garden all in this tote and put it between one of my fruit trees sit it on a block and put a good soil mix and plant the seeds so let's get going on that. Now we have our holes, did three across and two little ones right here and here. And I'm gonna do a soil mix, my regular little soil mix of my regular soil mix of um potting mix, my zoo compost, and my um, cocoa core. Be right back. Okay, here we go. I'm back. I have some Hishiko green onions. Forgot who I ordered these from, but I've ordered them about two years ago. And I have had something planted, some of these planted for the last like year and a half, and they keep producing. So it's like a permanent onion bed when you plant these. Um, I have some Zabune shallots that I bought from Baker Creek. I have some Celine Deline, Deline celery from Baker Creek. I have some garlic that I just pulled out of the freezer, but these feel like they're ready to crush. So I'll see if I can find one or two cloves worth planting. I know it's out of season, but I'm just going to throw two in the dirt anyway, just to see if they come up. And I have the white Dollar Tree bunching onions to go in here too. White Lisbon bunching onions. So we're gonna see if this grows. So I'm gonna put the celery in the middle. Well, I'm gonna put the, see if I can get these garlic cloves in the middle. 
And again, these little dollar scissors work fine cutting this plastic. It worked fine. Took no time. So even if you don't have expensive tools, these are bone, like chicken deboning scissors and all of that. So they're pretty sturdy. And I'll just wash them and put them back in my kitchen. Uh, so these bunching onions are one inch spacing, 60 to 110 days. I don't know about these, probably about the same, but two months is not bad. And they really grow fast and they grow well. Um, This, these take 15 to 20 days to sprout, so, but um, I don't see what, what the harvest date is. Eight to 12 weeks, it doesn't say give a harvest date. I, I never noticed that. They don't give a harvest date on um, Baker Creek seeds. They just say sprout dates. Huh. Well, I'm gonna get these all planted. I'm gonna like do a four square quadrant and then put, if I can, put these in the middle. Yeah, because they're kind of dry. They've been in the freezer, but it had started sprouting. So we're just going to throw them in there to see. Bring it down. So I'm going to put them in in the middle to see. Let's see if I can catch a wing. That ain't working. So it's going to be a little hard. My cameraman's in school. So I'm just going to. There you go. That should show you what I'm doing. Put on one. I don't think these are gonna grow, but they're in here. And am I dropping seeds? Oh shucks. That look like seeds on the ground. Yeah, they're they're really spent. No oh, wow, they're really spent. Yeah, I don't think nothing's gonna happen to these, but they may just surprise us, I don't know. I did buy them from the feed store because they were the last things in the bin and they sold them uh, like the last little three heads for like a, a dollar. So I said, let me just give them a try. And we're just gonna throw this in like a composting in place situation. To, to kind of just decompose in here. So shallots are so expensive in the store. So I'm really excited about these seeds. It's 150 seeds in the pack, so they gave you a good little bit. And I put tape on it, oh goodness. Just pull a few out in my hand. That's too many. So I got about that many. They want four inches apart, so ooh. I'm gonna do them over here. One, two, three, four. Mm. I'm not gonna do them four inches. I'm gonna um just kind of randomly space them an inch and just put one seed in each hole. That was way more than one seed, but good luck getting them back out of there. That's one quadrant. And then my top tried and true Nihao He Senko Green Onion. I need to mark these because 
I don't want to take the tops off the unformed shallot. So that is something I did not think about. But as I'm doing this, I am certainly thinking about it, that I need to put markers on these so I know which quadrant is which so that I'm not picking stuff that's not ready. Let me kind of sit the, the package because I will. I think I will go ahead and mark these. Sit the package over here before I. Now these celery seeds are so, so tiny. so tiny not having a hard time seeing them but I'm sure I'm gonna have a hard time picking them up so it's way more than the one or two going in each hole because of the size of them They start bunching they may start taking over so as i harvest the onions i'll probably go ahead and pull some of them out like the whole onion out in my harvesting got celery actually i could just get a, a marker and just write on the side of this container where i put the stuff get me a little sharpie and write on on the inside and just um mark it that way Those over there as my reminder. So it is April the 5th that we're planting this. I'm just going to um, cover it with a little bit of my um, cocoa core on top. I've also, I've also amended this with some blood meal. And I'm going to go get my marker and mark off what I put in here. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow anything away in the meantime. Let me go ahead and get my marker. This will be fun to see me. I'm just going to write it upside down. Shoot. Alrighty. So we got it all marked. We can pick it up.
put our seeds back in our binder. The binder system is working. I just need to, um, it's, it's keeping me from buying seeds I don't have and giving me a focus on what to buy. And it, I just got to remember to put all the seeds back. So I got a little bit of filing to do it, you know, after I plant. And again, like I'm telling y'all, plant a seed a day. Even if you plant, a, uh, plant something every day or a seed every day, you will have something going on in the yard at all times. And um, this is real important, guys. It's real important to keep some rotation going. Always have your basics. Pay attention to what you're going to the grocery store to buy every week. If you're going to buy onions, bell peppers, garlic, um, celery, even though it's cheap, it's best to have it growing in the yard. Because if you go to the store one day and it's not there, it's in the yard. So always have it. And we see how long this stuff takes to harvest. So you're talking two, three months out. So if they say, we're never going to get another celery from Mexico again, so they're only bringing 10 bunches to the store. Or we can't get it from California because of the gas prices. You will have it in the backyard. Your life will not crumble because you can't find a celery or onion because it's out there. So find a place to put something. I just took trash, straight garbage, and it's going to be my aromatic, aromatic bed. So please just find something somewhere. So I'm going to tilt this to the back. I'm going to actually prop it on. I don't like putting stuff directly on the ground because it helps a little bit with the critters if it's not directly on the ground. Plus, it's not killing my grass and it makes it easier for the yard man to edge around it. So I'm going to actually take um, some of my little scrap boards that I pick up from construction sites and um, sit this up, prop it up. I'm probably just going to make a square to sit it on square base for it to sit it on with my nails four nails six nails whatever and just sit it on a square base so it'll be a little more elevated but this will be my aromatic garden it's going between the trees so it can possibly even help with pest control for the trees so just just think outside of the box people i mean think outside of the pot that's what we're going to call this think outside of the pot so um i'm even prepping to get all of these buckets, I bought 20 of them. I'm gonna have to come up with a design of a rack. I just want all 20 of them on one solid rack, raised up. Um, it doesn't have to be too high, just maybe six, eight inches off the ground. And I'm gonna just have to design that contraption myself and just make rows of five. So I'll have like one for 10, make two of them. And these little gnats, ooh, make two of them and put 10, to hold 10 buckets each. And that's gonna be my greens i really want some salad greens oh bad some salad greens some summer salads some bell peppers peppers onions things like that are going in these four gallon buckets so stay tuned you'll see all the stuff i come up with but i am trying to grow as much as i can with the space i have i also have another video coming up of other ways to grow even when you have no space so please like comment subscribe ring that bell so you won't miss a thing because i came up with that harbor freight deal i come up with my local jacksonville people even went to get some of these buckets i put the word out about these buckets and i saw one of them planting doing a sunflower challenge in it this week so my local people you definitely need to be up on my channel and ring the bell because you never know what i may find and it's like run go get one and it may only last a few days so i do thank you so much for watching i do look forward to bringing out more great garden content cooking content home content single motherhood content all of that i'm i'm even good with finances so you might find some financial content in here too so just stick with me work with me ring that bell like comment subscribe see you soon have a great day and plant a seed four pieces of scrap wood from other projects and i'm just gonna take them and make a little square to to sit the uh box on I so free scrap wood, fold decking screws, just put it together, make a square. Simple carpentry, not even 101.5. If you can um, screw a nail into some wood, then you can just throw four pieces of scrap wood together and make a square. And I'm just going to have this, the onion aromatic bed, resting on top of this. Put it between the fruit trees, and I'll take a picture of the finished product.